Sonny Dykes adding Todd Graham and Dana Holgerson to the TCU coaching staff, JB. Big time moves here, big time moves. With these hires, man, these are both former college football head coaches being hired to the staff. Do you see there being any issues here, JB? Like you, you as a former head coach, I know I've talked to you kind of separately about your coaching career, and you kind of made statements that you can't have too many alphas in the room. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, once you're an alpha and that's who you are, and you've been a head coach, it's kind of hard to kind of be, I guess, quote unquote, uh, in, in an assistant type of role. Uh, how do you see that? How do you see this playing out? Do you see it being uh, any issue, or you think you think this could actually work out for the benefit? Um. Let me give you guys a little bit of a rundown on this first. Keep that up, Bailey, for me. Sonny Dykes, Todd Graham, Dana Holgerson all grew up, came up, and coached together since they were young. Mm. They're all good old boy network guys. They're all boys. They're homies. And these are probably three of the tightly knitted guys that know each other in all of football. They're boys. Like that's like their homies getting to kick it together and do what they love to do. Let's just say you got you got two of your homies at Fox and you guys were actually running Fox and got to hire your homies doing it. This is what they did. This is all this is. So there is no alpha male issue here. There is no going to be no issue here. These are three homies that are going to be able to sit there and be cool about everything that goes on because the other two know this is just getting them another interview as a head coach in a year. Mm. It's helping me rub my back. I rub your back. That's all this is. Got you. Okay. Thanks for that education. I had no idea that that, that, that was the path along the journey. Now you said that you would never moving forward, hire one of your homies as, as one of your head coaches or one of your coaches on your staff. Can you explain that? I know you've done it before. I just want to hear it again. Explain why. Yeah, because you can't um, demand greatness from them. You can't you rip their ass when they're late. They think they can do things that the other coaches cannot do. It creates a rift in the locker room. Now, let me clarify my, my situation to this. These are guys making millions of dollars who have made millions of dollars at a Power 5 level um, to where – this is now all about acceleration of your career to where me, I'm gutting young kids and creating them and molding them as to how to be a coach. These guys aren't needing to be molded anymore. They're already set in their ways. This is just a elevation to get another head job because they've already been a head job. I don't have my homies that have been head coaches who I hire and I'm just moving them along in Juco or something. It's a, just a diff- you can't really compare the differences. My difference is, is I wouldn't hire like, so let's say, Spree or you or somebody that 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 doesn't really just because they're my homie, because we'd have a there'd be a bit there'd be a major problem when you can, you know, you kind of lackluster half ass it and, and expect me to cover up for you and, and be lenient on you. But rip rip the 21 year old free kid because he did the same thing. That's the difference. If we're all making millions and shit and these guys have been head coaches already, then it, it's a different ball game. So. It's just hard to compare those two. I want it at my level. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes it 100%, man. So, 